الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم continued yesterday there were nine steps for toba one must regret from the sin number two never to return to make an intention number three to stop it immediately number four not going near number five remove anything that's connected to that number six find a replacement amal so that a person who is involved in one sin now involves himself in good actions number seven have a punishment for oneself number eight Go in the company of people, mashayikh, ulama, friends, etc. will take you close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a person won't be inclined to evil. And the last one is with regards to hukuk al-ibad. So when a person makes tawbah, for example, he makes tawbah from salat, masin it, the sin is forgiven but the amal is remaining. So now he needs to do his qazai umri. He didn't pay his zakat, he has to make tawbah from that guna. But he still needs to pay that. That's hukukul ibad, uh, hukukullah. And then hukukul ibad with the creation. I owed somebody money. I never paid him on time. I need to ask him for maf. So that sin of not paying is wiped out. But you still owe him the money. Now we need to pay that money back. To understand these points, uh, just look at the person who's going on a diet. So number one, regret. You look in the mirror and you say, oh, I'm so overweight. So you have regret. Then you don't intend to return to that thing again. So you make an intention now, I'm not going to eat all junk food. I'm not going to eat this here. I'm going to go on a diet. Number three, you stop immediately. Now all the old habits that cause this obesity, a person stops it completely, immediately. Number four, don't go near. So he doesn't go near any avenue, whether if there's a risk in the fridge, whether it's a risk in the takeaway, whether it's a risk in a certain outlet, he stays far away from that. Number five, remove anything connected to that. So some people clean up the entire house and make sure anything that I'm going to go close to, which is going to cause this obesity, get it rid. It shouldn't be even in the house. Number six, find a replacement. So now people find sugar-free chocolates, etc. Because you got a replacement. You have a craving, but you have a replacement. For persons listening to music, destroy all that and bring in Qiraat and Ashir etc. Number seven, punish oneself. So a person who cheats says that the day I cheat I'm going to go on the treadmill for 15 minutes. Every time I cheat I'm going to go 15 minutes on the treadmill. Every time I perpetrate this guna here I'm going to fast for so many days. I'm going to give so much sadaqah. Number eight, go into the company of those. So people who want to go on a diet, they go, they join a club, they have friends that are weight conscious, they have trainers etc. They do the necessary environment people I need to be with so that I achieve my target. So like that also we need to be also making recompense. Just on diet they say a person knows that they overweight when they visit the zoo and the elephants throw peanuts at that person. When the elephants throw peanuts at that person then you must know you need to go on a diet. When you receive your driver's license and on the picture they say, picture continued, then you need to go on a diet. Or when you go skydiving and there's an eclipse, then a person needs to go on a diet. So Toba and Istighfar, we need to be hopeful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter how far down the line a person is in Masyid, no matter how much sin they've committed their entire life, there is always hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ibadi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in a hadith Qudsi, Ya ibn Adam, ma da'awtani wa rajawtani ghafartu laka ala ma kana minka wa la ubali. As long as you cry to me, you turn to me, your attention is to me. I will forgive all that you have committed. So much so, la balagha dhunub buka anana sama. Komat guna, komat guna, komat so much guna that it fills the distance between the earth and the sky. So mustaghfar tani. Then at that moment, that grief, that nadam, that regret, what did I do? Ghafar tu laka wa la ubali. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I erase the slates completely. Law ataytani bi qurabi al-ardi khataya. Even if the whole earth is filled with guna, thumma laqeetani. And you meet me, you come to me, means you make Tawbah and you repent to me. La tushrik bi shay'ah, 
لأتيتك بقرابها مغفرة I will come with accordance the amount of guna that you committed I will come with so much forgiveness so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is waiting for us but it's up to the servant and he said could see adhkuruka wa tansani oh my servants I'm ready to give so much to you I remember you you forget me astatiruka wa la takhshani I hide your faults yet you don't fear me you expose your faults the sin that you committed in the darkness of the night we should have been only between you and me to seek istighfar yet you are so bold you post your guna on facebook on instagram on all these platforms how bold are you akhluk wa yu'bad ghayri i created you i showered you with all the bounties yet you worship somebody else besides me arzuk wa yushkar siwai all your sustenance your provisions your need your necessities i provide for you yet you show gratitude and allegiance to someone else besides me khairi ila al ibad nazil that the best that i can provide for my servants i send it down to you whatever good i can give you and i want to give you i've offered it to you but what do you do sharruhum ilayya said but all your evil and all your wrong and all your gunas you send it up to me so i want to send good to you yet you said all your bad up to me ma min yawmin illa wal bahru yastadhinu rabba every day the earth the oceans the makhluk of allah are making badwa in cursing and saying ya allah so the ocean says oh allah please fi ayyuh Rika ibn Adam, it wants to swallow this Adam. The oceans want to wipe out this Adam. It wants to send out tsunamis to wipe out men. The earth is saying, Ma min yawmin illa wal ardu tasta'zin fi ayin tabdali'ahu. The earth is seeking permission. Ya Allah, give me permission, I can swallow this insan. Ma min yawmin illa wal malaika tasta'zin fi ayin tuhlikahu. That Allah give us permission that I can wipe out this insan. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses his creation. Dur abdi bana a'lamu bi abdi minkum. O my servants, I know more about my creation than you. In kana abdakum fasha'nukum bihi. If he is your servants, then treat him how you deem fit. وَإِنْ كَانَ عَبْدِي فَمِنِّي وَإِلَيَّ عَبْدِي But if he's my servant, then I will treat him and deal with him how I feel fit. إِنْ أَتَانِي لَيْلًا قَبِلْتُهُ If he comes to me in the darkness of the night, I'll forgive him. I will accept his repentance. وَإِنْ أَتَانِي نَهَارًا قَبِلْتُهُ If he comes to me in the day, I will accept anything from him. مَنْ أَعْذَمُ مِنِّي جُودًا وَكَرَمًا who is more greater, who is more generous, who is more benevolent than Allah, than me. Sammaytu nafsi jawadan. I have called myself jawad, kareem. I am the one that's most generous. So as long as the servant is turning to me and repenting to me and asking me forgiveness, then I will forgive him. It is said about Hazrat Hassan, he was seated one day, somebody came to him and said, I am a great sinner, what should I do? Find, give me a solution. He said, make Toba. Somebody else came, there is no rain, what do I do? He said, make Toba, istighfar. Another person came, I am poor, I have needs and necessities, I need to remove all this poverty, is there any solution? He said, make Toba. Somebody else came, I, I, I have daughters, I want sons. What's the solution? He said, make Toba. Somebody else came, I have a garden, I want good crops. He said, make Toba, make istighfar. The person sitting there said, Oh Hassan, every problem that anybody has come, what you telling them, make Toba. How come? You need to give them solutions. He said, what I'm saying is not from my own. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا 
Make tawbah, turn to Allah, repent to Allah. Yursili sama'a alaykum midrara. If you need rain, we'll send the rains. Wa yumdidkum bi amwal. If you need wealth, we'll grant you wealth. Wa baneen. If you need progeny, we will grant you progeny. Wa yaj'al lakum jannat. I will grant you, give you gardens. Wa yaj'al lakum anhara. I will give you streams. All the solutions to all your problems is tawbah and istighfar. Turn to me and see what I will do to you. Ibrahim bin Adam was in Baytul Maqdis. We need to see that we are turning to Allah and after turning to Allah, we take the necessary steps for Tawbah. I, I made istighfar, now what do I need to do to, to cover up that, to show I'm genuine? I owe somebody money and I need to show I'm genuine, I made Tawbah. So he was at Baytul Maqdis and he seen some bright face, face people coming. He, they, they looked, the appearance were like they flourished as Malaika. There was a majlis. One of them said, somebody here is very strange. So they said, no, it's Ibrahim bin Adam, but he's not the one that'll get wilayat. So they said, but why won't he get wilayat? So the other said, he ate kajur one day without permission. So I said, Ibrahim bin Adam was shocked. He started making muraqaba and it opened up to him. One day he went to a store, he bought kajur. He thought so one kajur from his container fell into the ground and he took it and he ate it. Meanwhile, it was the storekeepers. Immediately, he made a niyat, he went back to the storekeeper and he replaced it one kajur. So we need to make toba with our tongue and then physical action, it need to be backed by that. And when we are making toba with our tongue, one is we make toba from ma'asyat, from all sins. Then we make Tawbah from Ghaflat, Ya Allah have been negligent. Then we make Tawbah from negligence in our ibadat, which is called Ihsan. I am supposed to worship Allah as if I am seeing Him. So Ya Allah, all the worship, all the ibadat, my life is not on the sifat of Ihsan. And ta'bud Allah ka inna katarahu, fa illam yakun yarahu fa innahu yarak. If you are not seeing Him, then He is seeing you. Then number for from jihalat the jihala, I don't know the masail of salah I don't know the masail of deen there's a lot of jihalat I made toba from jihalat now I need to go to the ulama I made toba from not having ihsan now I need to go to the mashaykh of tariqat and islah number five ikhlas yalla what actions I did in my life how much sincerity I had and the last one number six is hukukul ibad what haqq I have on the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I need to fulfill that. Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, one day he had to leave and he had to travel a distance. He stopped somewhere before his destination. It was Maghrib and it was far. He said, I'll stop here, read Isha, spend the night and after Fajr I will leave. After Fajr, I will leave. So he said there after Maghrib, then after Isha he was busy in Ibadah. The Mu'adhin, the caretaker came and said, Sheikh, whoever you are, Mubarak, but it is time for you to leave. We normally lock the masjid. He started thinking what to tell this person and what would be his plan. Three, four minutes passed. The person got upset. He said, if you don't leave, I'll have to remove you from here. So Imam Sab thought, started making muraq about what? What wrong? What amal in my life I have done? I need to start making tawbah and istighfar. What should I do? Anyway, he decided to leave as he left the masjid. Outside was a baker and he was busy making his roti. So he asked permission, can I sit here? Since it was a tanure oven and it was warm. So he said, okay, I'll pass the night here and then Fajr, I will go to the masjid and read Salat and then depart. So he noticed this person as he was making the roti, he was saying, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. While he was rolling the dough, he was making istighfar. As he put it in the oven, he was making istighfar. As he took it out, he was making istighfar. The Imam noticed for a long time that this action, this routine was, he was punctual in this. So Imam Sahib started smiling. So the baker said, Sheikh, why are you smiling? He said, you're so fortunate. You make so much toba. He said, this has become my routine and my habit. It has become so much my routine and habit that I've noticed that I've become mustajabu dawat. A person who makes toba, he'll become mustajabu dawat. So Imam Sahib was amazed. He said, you're saying you mustajabu dawat? 
How, what's your, your, your dawa, your proclamation? What's your dalil? Prove it to me. So he said, everything I've asked for, I've got it. Except one thing. Except one thing. So Imam Sab said, what is it one thing? He said, I heard of one great muhaddis scholar, one great faqih. His name is Ahmed bin Hanbal. I made dua to Allah that, Ya Allah, I'm busy in my sustenance and uh, ibadat in amal of the masjid. This is stopping me from going into the khidmat of Imam Sab. So my work doesn't allow me to leave. I'm only waiting for this dua. Ya. Imam Sab was shocked and perplexed. He hugged him with tears in his eyes and he said, Oh my young son, your dua also, this one has been accepted. I'm Ahmed bin Hanbal. I'm Ahmed bin Hanbal. So Tawbah Istighfar has a lot of benefits. Let us try to make it our routine when the masturat are cooking, etc. When they are baking all the time between Istighfar and Durood. Let us keep our tongues busy with the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The amal for today is istighfar, like we said, morning and evening a hundred times. This Mubarak Ayyam also, let us fill it with crying, with tears in the darkness of the night. Let us water our ibadat with tears. Man lazim al istighfar. Whoever makes it a habit to be punctual with istighfar, toba on his tongue. Ja'al Allahu lahu min kulli ham min faraja. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant him relief from all grief, all worries, all anxiety. وَمِنْ كُلِّ ذِيقٍ مَخْرَجَةٍ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find a solution for all his hardships. Allah will ease all his difficulties. وَرَزَقَهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant him risk and sustenance from where he can never imagine or fathom. The adhkar we were busy with morning and evening was Third kalima, Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illa Allah, wa Allahu akbar, wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-ali al-azim. Whoever says this ya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Aslama abdi wa s-aslama. How beloved is my servant. He's submitting himself. He's surrendered himself. He's reconciled with me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin